are you? This is Connor. You are watching thrivingminimalist.com and today we're just going to have a brief video, quick video on my oral hygiene products and tooth care. I think these things are simple. I think that they are minimalist. I think that they're easy to use and they're very effective. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is something called tooth powder. There's a few different companies that make tooth powder. I generally use uh, this, this one made by EcoDent. If you can't find it out there, you can go to my store on thrivingminimalist.com and buy it off of Amazon. So I just have a link there that you can find this stuff. Uh, instead of toothpaste, this is tooth powder. And the cool thing about this is it's not in a liquid form. So you can bring it in your backpack or in your uh, duffel bag. You don't have to worry about it breaking open, squirting all over your stuff. You can also take it on a plane and it doesn't matter what size it is. There's about a hundred uses in this bottle. And for the price, you get much better bang for your buck uh, with the powder than with the paste. But the best thing about this is it doesn't have any weird funky stuff in it. This is baking soda based tooth powder. There's a few other things in there, but they're not um, uh, harsh chemicals. They're not toxic. And I think it does a great job keeping your mouth clean and keeping your teeth white. Here's a little trick that I have learned to do with my tooth powder. This is another company that makes a tooth powder. And uh, I used this originally and then I, I just kept the bottle. So what I do after I eat is I take a little tooth powder, pour it in here, fill this up with water, and use it to rinse my mouth out. Brushing your teeth directly after a meal can actually lead to enamel loss. But rinsing your mouth and trying to alkalize your mouth with a baking soda base mouthwash is super helpful to kill bacteria initially. So that is a recommendation that I will give to you. Uh, don't brush directly after a meal, but rather rinse your mouth out with a baking soda base mouthwash. The next product I want to talk about is a tongue scraper. There's a few different companies that make tongue scrapers. There's a few different variations of tongue scrapers. Um, some of them are simply like, they look like uh, popsicle sticks that bend and you put it in your mouth and you, and you scrape your tongue. That's, um, that's good and effective. I just have always used this kind of thing. It has a brush on one side and a scraper on the other. And the way you do this is you just stick it in the back of your throat, you know, not too far, but <laughs> stick it on the back of your tongue, pull it forward, and it takes away the bacteria that builds up on your tongue. So it's great to brush your tongue. It's really good to um, scrape your tongue and then brush it. I heard someone say before, only floss the teeth that you want to keep. And I love that. Flossing is super important. And I didn't do it for a long time, but I've been doing it very regularly the last few years. And I've used a lot of different dental floss. Um, I really like this, this one by Glide. It's Pro Health Multi Protection Floss. It just slides a little bit nicer. And when it hits the gum, it's not so harsh. There's some like more like fancy organic, uh, whatever natural kind of dental floss, but I'm, I haven't found one that is smooth like this and that doesn't irritate my gums. So this is what I use. Um, maybe it's not for everybody, but I, I think it works great for me. We are down to the toothbrush. Cheap toothbrushes are incredible. I think brushing with a soft brush is way more effective and um, better for your gums overall than uh, brushing with a, a very harsh brush or a brush that has a bunch of kind of extra doodads in there. This is a really simple brush. I got four of these guys for like $3 or something. And I love this because you can stick it right on the wall or you can stick it up on your sink. So super effective. And I like having a really small mouth um, of the toothbrush. And, and I, I spend a lot of time in there just, just making sure I get every nook and cranny. So I recommend buying a cheap toothbrush uh, with a small head that is soft. Finally, the secret to success is something called oil pulling. Oil pulling. Uh, this is extra virgin coconut oil. This is the stuff you want to use to oil pull. Oil pulling is something you do right when you wake up before you drink water or eat food. You put a tablespoon of coconut oil in your mouth, you swish for 10 minutes, actually they say up to 20, so at least 10 minutes you swish this oil around in your mouth and you spit it out. 
And what that does is extract bacteria and food and toxicity that has um, detoxed during the night. Our, this is a, a huge detox system and when we go to sleep, our body jumps into a state of detoxification. We get a lot of toxic stuff coming out of our mouth and this is the way to get it out before reconsuming it. As soon as I started oil pulling, I noticed whiter teeth, less gum sensitivity, and uh, overall gum health. And after 30 days, it was like it was like I had a whole new mouth. So stick with it for 30 days. It's a little bit weird to switch oil around in your mouth initially, but you get used to it. Spit it out in the trash, not in the sink, because it'll clog the sink. You can spit it into the toilet because the the uh, the hole is big enough that it's it's going to go down with the water pretty easily but that's still not ideal so spit it into a trash bag once a day right when you get up 30 days please let me know what you think okay so i'm just going to run through how i use these products and how much i use these products on an ideal day not every day is ideal for oral health but it's but you know that's the goal wake up in oil pool uh brush the teeth do the tongue scraper and floss. Do all those things right in the morning. After each meal, swish with the baking soda based mouthwash. And in the evening, do the tongue scraper, do the floss, and do another round of brushing the teeth. At some point during the day, I might brush my teeth one more time. Sometimes I floss intermittently if I get food stuck in my teeth and it's bothering me. But in general, I wanna floss twice a day, I wanna brush twice a day, I wanna use coconut oil once a day, and I wanna rinse after each meal. It's a lot of work, but these things are really worth it. And you know, this channel is all about sustainable happiness through simplicity. This is a really simple way to take care of yourself. And honestly, I think it's a good way to just say, hey, I love you body, and I love you teeth, and I love you so much, I'm gonna spend a little bit extra time every day taking care of you. Hope you found that video helpful. If you have any tips for oral hygiene, post down below. We wanna keep it simple, we wanna keep it easy, and we want it to be effective. That is really important. So much love to you, take care, and thanks so much for watching. We'll check in with you next time, bye-bye.